<laughs> no, I did not. I, I played a lot of Smash at Genesis, so like, I'm not even surprised. I, I like, it's like my tendon, you know. That shit is a little tender. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. I'm sorry, guys. MJY, I know didn't use the Falcon the, in the in the real match though. I wanted to see the post Genesis zeal tonight, but. Hey, you know what? Any zeal from now on is post Genesis zeal. That's true. Yeah, we're in the PG, the PGZ era. <laughs> PG. I don't know. BG and PG. <sighs> I'm excited to see another Captain Falcon, though. MJY Captain Falcon. I think this exists. I'm pretty sure it exists. I mean, MJY is such a good, such a good player. Yeah, he has like a Samus, a Zelda, a Captain Falcon. I imagine Maybe you can play just support. about any, anyone to a decent level at least that isn't super duper niche. At least, you know. And the and the junior, of course. I forgot the junior, <laughs> the main. Yes, which hopefully we'll be seeing tonight. But you know, with MJY, you never know. It's MJY. Never know. Timbo's favorite Olimar is playing Alex right now. Timbo's favorite. Who's Olimar Alex? Is Alex? Steve, the second Steve skin, the female Steve. Oh. Oh, Ito is uh, playing. Ito is playing Steve. Okay, interesting. Alex. You already see. It's gonna be some advanced neutral, just like we said. Raptor boost. Oh wow, he went for raw up air though. That was raw. I want to see what he's gonna go for. He's definitely waiting for the weak knee here or the nair. Yeah, I like that from MJY, trying to get the very, very most he can as that first advantage state. But the double edge dance gonna come out here for Willy. Let's see if he's able to edge guard. Yeah, just gonna stay safe. Use that down tilt, try and poke and prod. A Captain Falcon off stage. Jab forward air. Willy has always got another button in the tank. Yeah, that's. He's the antithesis of Auburn play. What can you do? Kind of, uh, kind of similar to one of Auburn's favorite players, uh, Terry Main, by the name of Zawa, who that's also a, has a button buffered a, that's at all an times. Interesting comparison. I have to say, he might be dead. Oh no, no, not yet. Yeah, but sometimes Roy's recovery can be a bit weird. Then you can just not make it. But that was a good you're definitely off knee. not going to be making it there. Yeah, with the slide off knee coming out. Jy. No Nair after that dash attack, just wanted to sit and whiff punish with the Raptor boost. And yeah, Willie's landing habit's definitely getting punished hard right now. Two Raptor boosts. Captain Falcon just going to be able to armor through that landing option. And Captain Falcon has so many to tools there. to punish you when you're just kind of swinging wildly as you're coming down. Down air, no knee. He's he's not he's not a true Auburn. Well, I guess that would make him a true Auburn <laughs> Falcon main, actually, the fact that he can't hit their knee. Now on the platform, we're going to cover most options there from MJY. Tries to go for the Flare Blade. Two frame down tilt not been working out, so he wants to try out something else. Yeah, but MJY just gonna hold down there, not giving him even the time to set up that flare blade. That up smash. The fact that that even hit shield. shield. The broken ass dude. <laughs> full rage, but the uh, or full rage now, almost full rage. That back throw not gonna kill. Stuck again on the ledge here, but MJY just making a swift getaway. Up the other shield. Not gonna find it yet. No edge guard on that super super. Uh, I guess uh, that, that recovery was a constrained at that distance, but at the, the Falcon Dive going to take it eventually here. Three socks to one, MJY. Up throw there from Willie. I think he was just trying to catch him off guard before he could have a chance to DI it, but Falcon's heavy, so it, it probably would have killed Ben at 170, but at 150, I doubt it would have uh, would have got the job done. Going for falling up right there, but unfortunately just gets the up tilt. This is going to be uh, a punish. No full momentum. Nair there just gets a, uh, a regular Nair. But up air is coming out now. Th Ooh, he Ooh, That was an unfortunate early. platform cancel. Yeah, he, he, no, he, he fast fell. Oh, he did. Yeah. He's, he should have um, just not. He should have like wait for the up air to hit and then fast fall. I think that would have been the, uh, the confirm there. But I would like to see Willie mix up his landing habits just a little bit because every single time MJY is getting something off of it. Yeah, I, I will say when I played against Willie, his neutral is like not bad. Like it's like it's Roy neutral. Like there's a lot of buttons. Once you get him on the ledge, it's it's usually like just full hop off ledge. And once you have him in disadvantage, usually just like mash him in disadvantage, you know. So wow, Roy had the magnet hands coming out there. Yeah, I, I forget Roy's magnet hands are, are quite uh, generous going horizontally. But yeah. that ledge grab, like I don't know if you call it a hit box, but that ledge grab zone is so punishing above Roy. Like he has virtually nothing up there, and that's mm -hmm. why. At times, especially on stages uh, like of the Animal Crossing variety, you will see Roy's like you'll be like, oh, for sure he makes this back, and then they just they just stall out and die. Like, and, and you'll usually see it in, like every set with a Roy. Honestly, I, I see it quite often. But like even like it happens like Cola and stuff, and, and Mop In. Mop In is like a king of of getting screwed over <laughs> in recovery. I swear. But yeah, that's just another quirk to the character. So. Now I liked how far MJY went off stage to get that back here, though. That was like maximum height, maximum length. So hopefully we can see some more of that this set. Because, but I mean, in reality, all MJY needs to do is with punish. Yeah, I, w I would definitely say so. Stomp, no confirm out of it. Not confident that he could get the grab there. I think if he, if he had a frame time to turn around, he could have gotten the grab. But no matter. Set the forwarder off the platform. Double edge dance. 
somehow almost sort of <laughs> yeah. kind of almost killing there. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna smash radar. That was way too close. That's uh, that's yeah. a combination of small battlefield and being directly at ledge. Yeah, I imagine uh, I imagine small battlefield is probably Willie's favorite stage. Like people people that play like Roy and especially like people that play Roy the way that Willie does, I would I would say this is uh, probably one of their more preferred stages, not just in this matchup, but in general. So many people just love small battlefield. It's a fun yeah, stage. Yeah, MJ, MJY definitely looking now to whiff punish. Wanted to wait out the spot dodge and go for an air one there, but but just gonna be able to get the forward tilt. Yeah, for, and forward tilt. If you di it in, it sends the perfect uh, axis for a stomp, just like an immediate runoff stomp. But Willie actually di it out, showing he might have a little bit of experience in this matchup. Ooh, How do you know so much about everything? How do you know all these di angles and? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like I just, I just like. I see it and I'm like, ah, yes. Like, no, like I, I, I'm like also the kind of person who doesn't have that much trouble with tech because I can just like see top players do it and then do it. Like, so I think I'm just lucky. Like in that <laughs> regard, it's like I, I see stuff and I, I'm like a, I'm typically a very fast learner. Um, but the sort of Achilles heel of that is I'm not very creative. I always have to see something be done or have someone tell me something. Uh, at least in the game, I'm very creative outside the game. But that was a good stop by. It's always, it's always I gotta see something or like watch a guide, have someone tell me something, and introduce a concept, but. Right now, MJY introducing the back airs to Willie. <laughs> just, just like three full hop back airs in a row there. But now, this game looking a lot better for Willie than that first one. Pretty much even here. I mean, Willie had a stock lead yeah. at a yeah. point. I think I think the crustiness of MJY's Falcon is beginning <laughs> to, to uh, sort of rear its ugly head here. Because all those characters, obviously, like you said, MJY is going to be able to pick up pretty much anyone. But, you know, play them beyond like uh, a certain level? You know, probably not. Like, yeah. But... You know, I mean, no, no, sl no slouch is MJY, so I'm sure I'll be able to adapt, bring it back, or at least have a, uh, a new plan going into game three. But that weak knee, that's all you need, man. If you can call it that Roy recovery, has it is so bad at dealing with shit above it. Like when I was a Genesis in that, like when I was when I played on stream, game three against that Roy, I gimped him three times, <laughs> and that's just like that's just kind of the story of uh, of playing Roy sometimes is when you have characters with these long lasting aerials that you can sort of gimp characters with. I only got the yeah. cat that last game that. unfortunately yeah. but it was a lot of fun to watch mm -hmm. I, I definitely uh, I definitely put the laid the smack down I think so <laughs> I, I was trying so hard dude because I was like oh man like there's gonna be thousands of people watching this like I, I, I lost the first stock I was like no 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 not 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 here not now but yeah Genesis was a great experience but watching this game right now Willie definitely looking to be a little bit more unpredictable on shield. Going for like these late hit full hop back airs, the, or, or, or rather the up airs, the reverse hit of up air. Gonna whiff punish with the forward tilt there. Definitely still doable for Willie here. That was a high hit on forward tilt. Oh, wow. Uh, MJY just ever been calling him out off the platform there. Is that a little bit of, of her box shifting there with the F smash? I'm. I, I blinked when it happened. I didn't see did I? if uh, if Willie swung off the platform, but he has every other time, so I assume he did. And it was just her box shifting. What? You, you're taking my stuff. Yeah, I'm a thief. Okay. As, lo as long as you admit to it. Uh, who we got up next? Narwhal and Knight. Uh, two Inkling players. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. I'm curious to see what the rest of the bracket is sort of shaping up like right now. Here, I got you. Connor. Huh? Oh, big. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm a fake commentator. <laughs> Alrighty, so <laughs> yeah, Pharaoh was able to immediately just win the set over Black Wool 2-0 there. So Pharaoh waiting for waiting for the winner of Willy versus Hellenium right now. So Willy we just saw on the stream, and Hellenium I believe is a Byleth player from Wiregrass, more of a TO. Uh, 